What is going on, Shooms? I want to welcome you back to my series of secrets and details you may have missed in Cyberpunk 2077. And in case you missed any of my previous episodes, you can check the link down in the description or click the playlist in the top right corner to check out those episodes. But for today, I got some really good details for y'all. So you guys will remember that I did a video a while back covering the secret ending where you choose to not save President Myers during the beginning of Phantom Liberty and some of the things that happens because of that decision. Well, it actually turns out that I missed some details about that thanks to some viewers who pointed it out to me, including the fact that you can indeed go back into the ship to look for her body and see what happened, but also the fact that there is a second secret ending that takes place if you decide to not save Songbird when talking to President Myers and Solomon Reed after the initial intro of Phantom Liberty. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight into it. So as I stated previously, I originally thought that it was not possible to get back into the ship in the stadium in order to see what happened to the president's body. But thanks to a viewer by the name of N.W. Heatcraft, it turns out that it actually is indeed possible and I will show you just how to do that. So if you come to this location on the map, you will see this bright building with a big neon sign above. You want to get to the top of there and follow the steps that I'm about to show you on screen. Now once you finally make it to the ship and you work your way inside, you will see that the door is fully closed and you cannot enter. There's also really not much to interact with and there's no enemies here. If you try to see inside of the area where the president is supposed to be, you can't really do it by any normal means. Unless of course you have Otis Franz's camera mod, which shout out Otis Franz because he's incredible. But if you do take a free cam mod and look inside, you can see that in fact, President Myers is missing all together. Her body is just gone. There is nothing here of her at all except for a couple of her bodyguards. No remnant of her existence in the game whatsoever. So if you do decide to go this way, she just disappears from the game altogether. Now, alternatively, if you take a free cam during the way you're supposed to tackle this mission in trying to save President Myers, she will appear to just hang to the side of the door and crack her knuckles like she's ready for anybody to come in and go to town. Which honestly, I think it's quite a cool detail to be able to see her in there prepping herself for anybody coming through that doorway, but I digress. A couple other important details that I missed actually comes in regards to the beginning of failing this quest. So initially I had showed you that what you need to do in order to quote unquote fail and get the secret ending is as soon as you get to Dogtown, talk to Songbird, get the relic tree, just run away from Dogtown and then it will fail the mission and you will therefore have this secret ending. Well, it turns out you can actually do this inside of Dogtown too. So if you follow Songbird all the way to the point that you see the ship crash into Dogtown, slide down the mountain and then go to run towards her all you simply need to do is just run away or and this will happen wonderful hey show some what the hell are you doing get to the crash site now What? 
Gratsby. You just killed Rosalind Myers and the NUSA. Pray we don't meet again, and I mean ever. Ah! Still with us? What the... What happened? Your presidential rescue op. Miserable failure. Honestly, though, good f riddance. Uh -huh. Okay. So now what? Huh. We go on living. Start by finding us a drink. Last thing, and one of my most favorite details, is the fact that you can actually find Songbird's crash pod that shot out right before the ship landed inside of the stadium at this location right here. And if you come up here, there'll be a couple thugs waiting, and you will have this interaction with Johnny Silverhand. Well, well, well. A used up blast pod in the middle of Dogtown. Looks like our Songbird had a roughish landing. Must have tweaked her trajectory. She'd hit with any more speed, we'd be staring at a pile of scrap and minced meat. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. And finally, to the second secret ending that I was speaking about earlier. So, normally what happens here is you have a discussion with President Myers after all the initial turmoil that happens. She tells you about Solomon Reed. You take the coin, you give him a call, you guys have a chat, he comes back to your apartment, and then this conversation happens. Is that enough to get us a fresh start? I'm here, I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi and my country. Call me naive if you like. And you, V, whatever bond you two have fails to explain why you're here in the first place. I don't know how much they're paying, but you better ask yourself, is it worth it? Now to get that secret ending, when Solomon Reed asks you if this is really worth it, just tell him no, and then this will happen. Know what, Reed? You're right. There's something real wonky about this. I'm out. Now listen close, V. I'm only gonna say this once. Songbird promised you help with the relic. Now I will use any and all NUS assets to fulfill that promise. Consider it my contribution to your deal. Walk out of here, and the deal's null and void. Understood? Not a bluff, T. Finally showing me your true face. That the way of things, huh? <laughs> Hard pass from me, then. If I gotta die... I'm not gonna die fighting someone else's war. I see. Well, we'll manage without you. <sighs> Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Huh. Gotta be the shortest FIA career ever. Might not be an agent, but you're definitely special, V. At this point, you will have no further communication with either of these two people in general in the room. They'll just kind of stand there. He'll say that he's going to make a few calls and then nothing else happens until you do a couple of quests. And while you're roaming around Night City, you will then get this text. After that point, there will be no further communication from Reed, the president, Jason and Taylor, if you decided to save them, or anybody else, the DLC is over, and that's just it. So, at that point, Songbird is just kind of left to die, because I don't really see any way that she could really be saved, although I could be wrong, but given what I know happens in terms of the main story, the likelihood of that happening and her actually getting saved is pretty much slim to none. So... I would love to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. What you think about this? Do you like this ending? Do you not like this ending? What do you think happens to Songbird if you choose not to save her? Let me know everything down below. But with all that said, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it's a pleasure doing these videos, and I have many more secrets and details missed for Cyberpunk coming very, very soon, and some other special things too in the works. So without any further ado, you wonderful, beautiful, and fantabulous Chumas, remember, Jesus loves you. I love and appreciate you so much. You are amazing and bodacious, and I love you guys. And until next time, I will see you later. What the? Hmm. <laughs>